a new blaze at the complex housing South Africa's parliament in Cape Town was brought under control overnight, city officials said on Tuesday, as a suspect arrested in connection with the fire was due to appear in court. The roof of the old wing, which dates back to 1884 and houses the upper chamber, the National Council of Provinces, partially collapsed. Iranian President, speaking on the second anniversary of the assassination of General Qasem Soleimani by the United States, said that former U.S. President Donald Trump must face trial Tehran Tehran Iran would take revenge. More than 4,400 migrants, including at least 205 children, were lost at sea trying to reach Spain in 2021, a monitoring group said, more than double the figure from the previous year and the most since the group began counting in 2018. Panama authorities arrested on Monday a former member of the Colombian military wanted for questioning in connection with the assassination last year of Haiti president, two people familiar with the matter said. More than one million people in the U.S. were diagnosed with COVID-19 in single day as a tsunami of a micron swamps every aspect of daily American life. The Hapid variant variant drove U.S. cases to a record, the most, by a large margin, that any country has ever reported. More than one million people in a Beijing in central China were being confined to their homes after three asymptomatic coronavirus cases were recorded in the country's latest mass lockdown. The strategy has come under pressure with a series of recent local outbreaks and with just a month to go until the Winter Olympics. Delhi Chief Minister said on Tuesday he had tested positive for COVID-19, a day after speaking at an election rally where none of the people on the dais could be seen wearing a mask despite rising infections in the country. Amid warnings from the country's top COVID-19 body of a fast spread of the virus in the country, the Sin government said that the prevalence of the Omicron variant has reached up to 50% in the province, especially in Karachi. As a looming fifth wave of the coronavirus epidemic, this time fueled by the Omicron variants, sends alarm bells ringing. The Civil Aviation Authority has made PCR testing mandatory for everyone flying in from overseas. The test has to have been conducted a maximum 48 hours before every traveler's flight. Pakistani skipper Babar Azam's performance in 2021 has been described as surpassing expectations by 49% of the voters approached during a survey conducted. The survey shows 49% of Pakistanis surveyed found the national cricket team captain's performance better than they expected, 42% according to their expectations, while 9% termed it under par. Pakistan's trade deficit is currently up nearly 100% at $24.78 billion so far in fiscal year 2021-2022 from $12.36 billion in the previous fiscal year's corresponding half, provisional data indicates. Imports increased 37.9% year-to-year to stand at $6.901 billion, up from $5.005 billion in December 2020. Researchers at MIT have recently tested a new concept for a hovering rover, a spacecraft that instead of relying on a traditional wheels-on-the-ground approach, will use the moon's natural electric field to levitate over its surface. Because celestial bodies like the moon and other asteroids lack atmospheres, they're unable to deflect solar wind.